Yo, 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 guys, welcome back to another League Race video on the channel. And tonight it is going to be PSGL round one Bahrain. Um, it's been a while since uh, PSGL has run a, a race, I think it's been 139 days to be exact, so a very long time. And uh, the grid tonight is absolutely stacked. I mean, I think. Not a single driver on this grid is not on the esports uh, grid, so very very high level. So it's a very good first, um, what do you call it, reference kind of to just to see where everyone's at. Um, but yeah, I know that it's gonna be a li little bit all over the place because some people have been grinding and practicing, some people have just started playing the game ish. So um, I kind of fall in between of those two scales, I think, because. Uh, I've I've played for like two weeks now, um, a solid amount of time, and I think I'm I'm getting up there in terms of pace. But I don't know something about qualifying right now is just in this game. I with all the ERS changing and I don't know. I think our setup style is just not is not really working for me at least in in qualifying. And um, I think we need to we still need to work on that. And uh, you will see it throughout this quality session that I just I just struggled um, to do a clean lap. Uh, so. Not expecting much in okay. this qualifying session, uh, oh, but everything then. to make up for in the race because <laughs> I know in the race we are very competitive and the strategy is going to be chaos because every strategy works, uh, basically. Well, every. I mean, like, you can start on softs, mediums or hards and you, you can just always stay in the train. Anyway, you can't break the train anymore with this DRS and ERS. It's too powerful, so... You're going to see a lot and a lot of battling. Um, and I'm sure you guys watched it on the live stream as well. But here we go. Here we are on my second attempt. Uh, also, side note, we are doing short quality because uh, we, had a, we had some issues with the previous lobby. And we were late. We were 20 minutes late. So we decided to just do a short quality instead of a full quality. So we wouldn't finish too late. And uh, yeah, so far the lap is not going too, too bad. I mean, we are two tenths, not two tenths up now on a point one, which is still only a point nine, and it's not very, very, it's not very fast. I mean, it's just an average lap as we missed the apex there a little bit, but have a good exit up the hill on the right, and um, yeah, point six six split, which is actually not too bad considering it looked like me and Barry's last sectors were really competitive, like faster than anyone, so. But it, it, it doesn't mean that it's set up. It just could mean that we have a little bit more ERS to play with at the end. And as they're at the last corner, um, I invalidate because, oh, I don't know, the car would got just stuck to the ground, stuck to the curb, and I couldn't turn the oh. car anymore. And uh, right. that would have put me okay. P2. Uh, so, yeah, not, not the best way. And then uh, here on my last lap, I didn't even improve. I completely died on my lap. Three tenths red. And we are starting P17 on this race. Thomas not not, bad, not bad. ideal. Um, Barry did a good job in P2 there. And Danny B's lap was absolutely oh, mental. Yeah. A 6-1 is, is extremely faster. Uh, sorry, it's extremely fast. Um, so yeah, GG's to him. Because you see Lucas Blakely in P3 with a 0.7. And then it's 0.8 down. So the top two did a really, really good lap. Anyway, on to the race start now. As you can see, we're going to start on the hard compound of tire as Tomek on the soft. Just look at my mirror on the front, on the top of my screen quickly. Look how much grip the soft has. Look at that. Look at that. He's just already alongside by, alongside in fourth. Two cars and he's already overtaken me before the corner. Um, that was actually crazy to see when it happened. And as you can see here, Wilson on my right has a little tap and then hits me on the front right of the car. And it was a very, very hard collision. I mean, I really felt it on my steering wheel and you could even see and hear it very loud. Um, it was not a small collision by any means as we lock up the rear a little bit there and Philip there has a little moment. Um, so yeah, from that contact, guys, I oh, have damage. wing damage. Uh, I couldn't turn the car as I could in practice and I know my pace oh my God, in practice from that and it was way faster than, uh, than what it was this race. Um, so, great race. We are now fighting for P16 with wing damage. Um, but yeah, we, we, I'm just going to continue and see what uh, what can happen. You never know, maybe safety cars can repair my wing or, you know, anything can happen in these sorts of races. 
Or maybe I'm not used to the call uh, to the race anymore. Yeah, and the car was just very, very understeering. I just couldn't I make any moves tired. or like m hit I'm any apex. As Tamash just loses the car there by himself. I'm not sure why Tamash uh, tested, dived Tomek there. Man, Tomek is on softs. The softs, softs are like 1.5, 2 seconds quicker right now. W why? Why? Like, uh, why dive him? He's just gonna overtake you again, and you're just losing time. But anyway. Yeah, on this game as well, DRS activation is on the second lap already, so even harder to break a train, or even any gap for that matter. It's just not possible. So that's why the races are so so crazy and chaotic. We're gonna skip to lap three now, like. I'm just stuck behind Thomas and Freddy now a little bit. As Thomas has a little moment, he almost hits Freddy and I think he just went deep to avoid him. Um, so maybe this is our chance to overtake him, but I just see that he's just using and he's fast on the straight, so I can't really make a move. And that's the thing with this game, man. Trying to make a move on this game, especially when you're going into I like a small, sp a small, low, a low speed corner, uh, like a hairpin. It, if you want to break a little bit later than the, the person in front of you, you're, you're just going to lock up three. and you go straight. So, 17, I don't know, it's just a bit awkward 16, and it's 18. very easy to hit each other. And like, look at Thomas now, he just had a, another moment. I think he locked the rears there, trying to avoid Freddy once again. And here we are super, super close to him, so we're going to try and make a move on him. But you can see, I'm just not gaining that much. And then he defends the inside and I just get boxed in with Freddy. I don't want to hit him as yeah, Thomas does a bit. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, mean I couldn't really do just much there. Like, I was just going to hit Freddy, I think, if I break a bit like later. So Don't want to damage my wing even more. <laughs> but look at the understeer in this car. Like, I just can't so make... Much damage. The, yeah, I can't make the corners. Like, it's bad. It's really bad. But, I don't know, maybe it makes me a little... Like, I can't even keep it straight there. And Thomas... Yeah, uh, to Thomas. Yeah, Tom yeah. Manley just dives me here into turn 8. A sure. little bit of a push to pass, to be honest. Um, but I just didn't want to sit behind him the whole race. Even if he had a penalty, I wanted to be in front. So I just made sure that I could keep the position. Um, 1.3. Yeah, anyway, we're going to skip now to lap 11. Because literally nothing has happened. And... I've just been trying to get past Thomas here and maybe go around the outside into turn four. No, nothing. And the tires just keep hooking up, even though I'm not, I don't feel like I'm really touching him. I don't feel like the hitboxes are exactly what the car is. If, if, if I made myself clear, I don't know, but it's just a bit odd. The contact model is completely broken in my opinion. And last year's contact model was very, very good to be honest. I mean, Danny is in. Anyway, Otis now pitting from the medium compound because he started on mediums and now we're, we're just getting past all these old medium runners also JKB pitted I think okay. oh, as here out. we got around the outside of Thomas a um, little bit of contact but still very clean battle so far and as you can see we're just bouncing off of each other it's just awkward it's just awkward um, and Freddy has a huge lag moment there like I thought he just completely missed the braking but no, it's just a yeah, it's huge lag. Like. Um, yeah, Barry already pitted onto the hard tires, so he has a long, long stint ahead of him. As we're just now sitting behind, and Thomas tries to make a move on Freddy, and oh, that Thomas. was very... Yeah. <laughs> you hit him, um, but I think he just let him pass uh, afterwards, because it was a very, it was a very aggressive move. Because I try to go down the inside of Thomas now, but I just... I can't turn the car enough to put the power down, so... Yeah, he just keeps it around the outside, which is very hard usually to do that there. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, Duncan doesn't is, do shit. Is, Barry is a bit, yeah, complaining yeah, you know, that he's too fast, basically, and nobody can keep up with him. That's basically what he's saying. And if we go down the inside of Thomas here now on lap 15, just tell me what but Duncan said he, oh, he keeps it around the outside again. I just, I don't know. Can't make a move. We're just stuck. Why is Freddy helping Thomas? Yeah, no, I don't know what I'm saying. I thought for a second that Freddy was helping Thomas, but no, nah, never mind. I was just, Thomas I was just yapping because I was being frustrated because I've been sat here for the last less. I'm not trying to do 15 maps. laps. Say the so yeah, right, Tom Manley now, trying to make his move on myself. Um, that is pushing me onto Thomas. 
So this is going to be an interesting uh, turn one. As Thomas does, dives the inside of well, Freddy, and he just completely one. pushes him wide, and we have to defend from Tom as well. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a weird... Um, <laughs> weird uh, encounter there. Um, <laughs> poor Freddy, man. He's now all the way back behind Wilson, even. So, yeah. That's crazy what Thomas did right there. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit, it was a bit wild what Thomas did. Anyway, on to lap 16. We are now gonna overtake him because you know we need to swap so that we can maybe try and catch up the train ahead um, as Tom comes through as well. And we're gonna be pitting soon onto a set of soft tires. Yeah, the softs are actually surprisingly yeah, good on this track. I'm access. not sure why. Um, we actually only tested the mediums in practice because every track so far. The softs have been untouchable, genuinely, like, the softs have been so bad to the point where the mediums will be faster after lap 2 or 3. And um, thankfully, right before the race, we just decided, you know, just let's just test the soft, you know, like, you never know. And the soft tire was just amazing. It was quicker than the medium the entire 9-10 lap stint, so... There was absolutely no reason to use the mediums in this race. Um, so the the two tires that you had to use were the hards and the softs. And if if you were one of the people that used the mediums, you basically lost the race and you got um, yeah, you just got eaten alive. Like some medium runners that started up front, um, they just got eaten alive. Otis, for example, um, Jake. Jake is P16 now, um, and he started on mediums and he was in the in the top train. So. It was just a very, very bad tire. As now we're going to make some easy moves on people that have old tires on our brand new softs. As we caught up to Jake and two laps. And this is a train of people with hards. And Josh there just loses the car completely and spins around. That was pretty funny. Uh, yeah, Jake doesn't even try to defend this. I mean, I am a second and a half a lap quicker than, than these hard runners. So... Makes no no point. And Yarno now, Yarno is actually on two laps fresher softs, and makes sense that he's right behind me because he was way far. He was at the front of the train, so I knew I wasn't gonna be fighting for the win anymore with the with the wing damage and the position that I was. Um, so yeah, I just had to Yarno use Yarno to my uh, to my advantage. I knew he was gonna be fast. Um, he's in the Alpine. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, he's gonna be fast, so I just need to use his DRS to. Catch the people ahead because everyone ahead, bar Alvaro and Brandon, I think, yeah, apart from those two people that are uh, softs, they're all on hard. So we can still make up a lot of positions on this race, and um, we still have seven laps to go, seven racing laps. And these softs are faster, like almost a second faster until the end of the race than the hards. So we should be catching them in uh, maybe two, three laps. And I'm gonna sit behind Yarno and Isma. Um, and you can see, three laps later, we are now already at the back of the train. And it's, this is where it starts getting chaotic. Duncan was P2 at the start of the race. Well, he made himself up to the front with Bari. And uh, he's now falling all the way back to P8. I mean, think about it. I, was P I started P17, wing damage, and the train got gapped as well. There was a gap in the train from P6 to P7, like a 2-3 second gap. And we still, or I still, Barry, caught up to these them. people. I caught up to Barry. Barry has been leading the whole race. Like, it just shows how overpowered this alternate strategy was because yeah, you yeah. just can't break the train in uh, the 90. first stint. And um, yeah, the hard yes. soft was clearly, clearly the faster and better strategy to go to. As you can see, Danny Bersney, pole sitter, with a medium, so with a medium hard um, yeah, no, strategy. It's just Barbara. now getting eaten alive and. He hasn't, he, there's nothing he can do, genuinely. The, he, he just doesn't have the the facilities to fight back. <laughs> As we're not gonna stay on board, I think for the whole lap because I think there's still some chaos happening with with Barry as well in front. Um, yeah, ERS recharges way too quick. It always feels like I'm using too much and I have no more ERS to fight. And then a, a sector later, I have 60, 70 percent. So bit weird as we go down the outside of Danny here as Yarno there actually completely misses his breaking point and almost takes out Alvaro and Bari which means it's been reported to the stewards and 
I, I really believe that that's a penalty. I mean, I've seen PSG give penalties for way less things than that, and that was very, very bad, to be honest. <laughs> he just completely missed the breaking and hit Alvaro and Barry. Um, costing Barry time as well, so I don't know. It's just, anyway. Um, so that possibly could mean a penalty for Yarno. Maybe an extra position for myself at the end of the race. That would be uh, lovely. <laughs> but anyway, here Barry trying to defend for all he can with his old hearts. Um, yeah, he just can't do anything, and I just follow through. You go on your left. Thank you to Barry to just letting me go. I mean, it's just That's crazy, I, he actually. must feel. I have rolling damage, by the way. Get me the mm. fuck out of this. Yeah, but <laughs> Barry was not happy with the race. I mean, he did nothing wrong in the race. He was super fast. That's the thing. That's why it feels so frustrating for him. It was just the wrong strategy. The the soft hard is just was not as fast as the hard soft. Or I mean it is, it's just how the train works. But anyway. I'm sure he wasn't too happy with that and I'm sure he he deserves the, the win for sure. But yeah, we finished the race in P six at the end. Um great recovery drive. Should be probably P five at the end. Um, after Yarn's penalty. Uh, yeah, the top six, as you can see, is a hard soft strategy. No one in the top six started on soft or mediums. It just shows um, how overpowered the strategy was. See, what kind of was he doing? And uh, hopefully we can get the P5. That would be a good 12 positions gained. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to fight for championship anyway. I'm going to be away for the f next few rounds. I think for the Sorry. next three races, I'm not going to be here. So um, it is what it is. I'm just going to focus on the bigger so championship, the world championship. That's what like, matters most. And, and uh, yeah, this has been the first race of PSGL. Very controversial. With the right now with the people and how they think league racing is working with this ERS and stuff, but it's what we got and we have to work with it. So, I'll see you guys in the next league race. Ciao, ciao, guys.